Hello friends, today we'll learn about the kidney stones. A few weeks ago you were experiencing a sharp <laughs> cramping pain in the back and side. It was due to kidney stones. Fortunately, the stone was tiny and it passed out of the body without surgery. Most kidney stones are about the size of a chickpea, but they can also be as small as a grain of sand and as large as a golf ball. No, no, you did not swallow the stones. It had formed inside your body. Let me explain all about the kidney stones. Kidney stones, also called renal calculi, are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys that are part of the urinary tract. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs which consist of calluses, renal artery, renal vein, medulla, and cortex. They help the body to pass waste as urine. They also help in blood filtration before sending it back to the heart. Kidneys release hormones to regulate blood pressure and control the production of red blood cells. Kidney stones form when your urine contains more crystal-forming substances such as calcium, sodium, oxalate, and uric acid. Excess amounts of these particles makes the urine acidic. Due to this, the particles bond together and crystallize. With time, these crystals grow in size and form kidney stones. Most kidney stones form on the interior surface of the kidneys where urine leaves the kidney tissues and enters the urinary collecting system. There are so many types of kidney stones. Let's study about the types one by one. The most common type of kidney stone is calcium oxalate stone. These are the hard clumps of minerals and other substances that form in the kidneys. These crystals are made from oxalate a substance found in foods like green leafy vegetables combined with calcium. Having too much oxalate or too little urine can inhibit the oxalate to crystallize and clump together into stones. Calcium phosphate stones. The cause of calcium phosphate stones is often obscure but most often related to a high urine pH. It can grow faster and larger than calcium oxalate stones. Struvite stones. More common in women, struvite stones form as a result of some type of urinary tract infections. Uric acid stones. Most common in men, uric acid stones tend to occur in people who don't drink enough water or have a diet very high in animal protein. Cysteine stones. These stones are caused by a hereditary genetic disorder called cystinera that can lead to excessive amounts of the amino acid cysteine collecting in the urine. The most common symptom of kidney stones is sharp pain. Other symptoms include blood in the urine, inability to urinate, nausea or vomiting, fever, chills or weakness. Once diagnosed, your health care provider will first determine if you even need treatment. Some smaller kidney stones may pass out of your system when you urinate. A surgical procedure is generally used to treat kidney stones that are larger than 2 centimeters. Fortunately, there are several ways to decrease the risk of kidney stones. Drink water. Staying hydrated helps you urinate more often which helps flush away the buildup and the substances that result in kidney stones. Follow a healthy diet. You should include calcium-rich foods in your diet, but skip the supplements. Try to limit the amount of salt you eat and avoid adding extra salt to your food. Squeeze a lemon into your water or have a daily glass of low-sugar lemonade. Avoid fatty cuts of red meat and do your best to get as much protein as you can from plant-based organic sources. Lose weight. If you're overweight, try to lose some pounds. Exercise is important for everyone. Now you know a lot about the kidney stones. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.